So, the Splatoon 3 Direct has recently revealed that Splatoon is getting Splatanas, or basically melee weapons, to the game. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I feel about them. But not only that, the different types, including the chainsaw slash stamp kind of weapon, and also my thoughts on what they could do with this concept. So first of all, we've got the Spatana Wipers. Now, these kind of weapons are, first of all, the first melee weapon in Splatoon 3, which isn't entirely true, as in the concept or the video they have of it, you can actually see them, you know, wiping it and it shooting out a dash of ink, which makes sense. I mean, if you didn't have that, how are you supposed to paint at all? So it does have a, a certain amount of inkage, but not too much. That's not its strong point. The ink strike it can throw is about mid-range, and the Spatana weapon types actually has two attack types. First one being the basic slash, which is probably just used for inkage and general attacking, whereas the charge attack, which is the second type, is a more heavier attack that takes longer to charge up, but the ink strike that you that you land goes further, but not only that, you do more damage. And if you're close up to someone, you can one hit kill them. As for the kit of the Splatana Wiper, we have the torpedo as the sub, and for special we have the ultra stamp. Definitely an interesting combination. The torpedo can definitely be used as some sort of distraction before you go in straight to the fight with your weapon. And I definitely see the special is kind of an odd choice, yet also fitting at the same time as both the ultra stamp and the Splatana are melee weapons, more close up type stuff. So I think that fits quite well and probably will play to its a weapon class. Now as I briefly hinted at, Splatanas aren't one specific weapon, but in fact this is a whole new weapon class for Splatoon 3. And as such we have the two uh, different types of weapons uh, that we know about so far, that being the Splatana Wipers and the Splatana Stamper. Obviously we've already talked about the Splatana Wipers, although the Splatana Stampers I'll get into now. By the way, I just want to point out, these things look ridiculously like chainsaws. I know obviously they're not, they're these wee like stampers they have in Japan, but man, they, they look seriously like chainsaws on an inkling. The kit the Splatana Stampers have is a burst bomb for the sub and the special from what I can get is yet to be set. There's definitely a lot of specials it could have, especially with Splatoon 3 and all the specials it has. Um, if I were to set any specific specials I think would go well with it. Uh, I'd probably go for perhaps a reef slider as perhaps that's a good one to get into the action and play to the strengths of not being able to shoot from one side of the map to the other, as obviously Splatanas are melee close combat type weapons. Now the difference between the Splatana Wipers and the Splatana Stampers is from what I can gather, the Splatana Wipers are basically the equivalent of a normal roller. Whereas the Splatana Stamper is the equivalent of a dynamo roller. So it's a bit heavier and I think it it might sort of take longer to charge up. Which I don't personally see because there's a little short video that you'll see up on screen at some point uh, of the weapon being used. And it honestly looks pretty fast. And so I don't know exactly how this works. Uh, or how balanced it is, maybe they have to tweak it a little bit, or maybe they're set in stone with how it works. Perhaps when we play the game we'll see more information, this is a very short clip, and so it doesn't say an awful lot, but still, I want to know what you think about this, because I honestly don't know the difference. Now, similar 
two rollers and chargers. Obviously, you've got the heavier side of those two weapons, the normal types, but with chargers and rollers, you have the, the less powerful ones, but the faster ones. For example, the carbon roller or the squiff or bamboozler, perhaps. And we have yet to see something like that for the Splatana weapon type. I do think there's going to be something like that. I'm just not entirely sure how something like that would work.